I'm Daniel Hamlin. I'm a uh, program manager at uh, Space Logistics LLC, which is a subsidiary of uh, North Grumman. Space Logistics uh, really piqued my interest because uh, they're trying to build, a, we, we are trying to build uh, from scratch a totally new um, space industry or new kind of space industry. And it's, it's all been internally funded uh, with, with Northrop Grumman funds. Um, but we are also developing this, this cutting edge space servicing or satellite servicing technology. So it's been an opportunity to meld that um, sort of set, of set of business skills and set of technical skills that I had in my career. So it was very attractive for, for that reason to, uh, to come to Space Logistics. So I came to them for a, a summer um, to intern. I really enjoyed it. Um, and I, I came back and uh, been there ever since. that ability to remove objects from geostationary orbit in the case of space logistics, um, but also from, from other orbits as customers may need. Um, I think one of the, the compelling business lines that we can offer in the long run is the ability to both um, directly clear orbits of debris and, and maybe more subtly, but just as importantly, to extend the lifetime uh, of existing assets by helping customers to um, get additional utilization of those assets, we reduce the need to launch additional spacecraft to orbit in the first place. Um, so we are dedicated to uh, managing and preserving the, the geostationary environment. Get as much work experience as you can, as early as you can. Um, in particular, if you are interested in going on in academia, uh, I would recommend similarly try doing some Research earlier, early in your career, in your undergraduate career, see if you enjoy that, um, because that, that is what the PhD experience is like. Um, I do think it's very important to be cognizant of what's going on in the field. So, for example, reading the trade publications, uh, Aviation Week, Space Technology, Space News, um, it's actually surprisingly valuable just to have a sense of what what is is up in the industry, or even frankly, just the Wall Street Journal to know what's going on in the broader world, because that always impacts the aerospace industry and vice versa.